Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Early Intentions. My name is Jason. Um, we are now at session two. Uh, we just finished uh, doing a camp up uh, of our characters, and uh, we are no better off than we started. In fact, probably worse on your your end. I think you're actually hungry now. Yeah. Uh, hungry, angry, and exhausted. No, no. He uh, he found enough water to quench his thirst. Oh, good. So you're just as just as bad as you were. That's good. But I, I probably have malaria now or something. <laughs> We're well, not sick, so hey, that's good. We'll see. Uh, and uh, we're about to take on another adventure. Adventure hope. And uh, oh, on the podcast we have Aaron, the wonderful GM, who is absolutely callous and has no You're an asshole, sir. No <laughs> mercy. <laughs> who said that? And uh, <laughs> Ryan, uh, who is a dwarf today, and a dwarf tomorrow. Inside. He has always been. I'm a dwarf today, dwarf tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so you managed to find just enough time to uh, to fuck around, and nobody came to check on this space while you were uh, while you were resting. You get to memorize a new spell. Echo, a new spell. Yeah, uh, yeah. You can you can either memorize Wizard of Vegas again, or you can memorize one of your other spells if you want to quickly check those up. Let's do those. Do that Wizard Sage shit. I don't know what it does, but let's do it. So for Wisdom of the Sages. Um, intoning true names, the magician summons long-dead sages from beyond the Shroud of Worlds to whisper the translation of spoken or written words in his ear. So, uh, yeah, basically you, for one turn, you may read, speak, or comprehend a foreign or alien tongue. Good, this might be useful. That's good. Yeah. You could listen in on the kobolds. Yeah, or I can talk to the kobolds. Or you can talk to the kobolds. Or you can do both, actually, incidentally. Talk with the animals, walk with the animals. Yeah, one of the nice things about uh, about the spells is they don't take up a turn. That is good. Yeah. Well, then again, I'm only getting one out of whatever, so... Oh, yeah, yeah. You'll have one... Um... I guess yeah. as, I, as I go up levels, I guess I'll have a couple more. Uh, so, yeah. Um, awesome. We're uh, continuing on. There, the, the, the cave does go further north, now that you're both ready to go. You, you, you do decide to go with Wisdom of the Sages? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, yeah, the, the cave does go further north, or you can decide to head south, but, I mean, why would you head back when you can head forward, right? <clears throat> you light your candle and, uh, and head on ahead. Candle forward. So... How can we always use candles? Why don't you use torches? Like a normal person. Because I can control the light from a candle much better. I don't want kobolds seeing my light. Not unless I want them to. Tricks of the trade, son. Sorry. Whatever. You're going to get to edit something <laughs> out here. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, Jeremy Friesen of... Uh, of uh, Roll, uh, the, the, the Roll on Tactics blog. Really cool Dungeon World and Burning Wheel blog. And he's got the same last name as me, which was cool, and we connected on that online for a while. It was hilarious. <laughs> anyway, he recognized me by name at, uh, at Gen Con when, uh, when Drew mentioned me to him. Really? And, uh, and he wrote me a special custom move for Dungeon World. <laughs> what, what did he, what, what's the move? I have no idea. I get to find out tomorrow. Sweet! Yeah. That's awesome, dude. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> I told him I would pay money for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, yes. Um, continuing on. <laughs> I just had my I just had my geek out moment. There you go. You got you got your name drops. So yeah, basically. Move on. <laughs> <clears throat> Sweet. You're lucky I didn't uh, invoke the, 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 the trap before. I actually, I'm actually i making this dungeon a bit easier because there's only the two of you. <laughs> it could have been 12 kobolds. <laughs> um, so, yes. Heading ahead, uh, continuing on, uh, the dim light continues, so your candle's not going to get 
not attract too much notice. <clears throat> and uh, actually up ahead in the in this wide room that you see up ahead, you can hear a number of kobolds, and they're they're gathered in what seems to be kind of a, a barbaric parody of court. Um, there's an ornate high-backed chair that sits roughly in the center of the circular chamber. Um, you remember it actually from upstairs. It's uh, it's all usually propped up in the corner. They think they're people. <laughs> Um, no one is actually sitting Shut it. up! <laughs> Nobody's actually sitting in it, in it at the moment. Six female kobolds, decked out in feathers and bone piercings, stand on the left side of the room, and six male kobolds, wrapped in colorful sarongs, mill about on the right, and they are yelling at each other. <clears throat> uh, in addition, a, there's a table set up in front of the chair, a table from upstairs, and... There is a naked male kobold bound to it <laughs> that you can make out in the dim light. And it looks like the males and the females are arguing about what to do about it, but it's hard to tell. I choose not to make out with them um, in, the, in the dim light. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. What do you, uh, you I'm, going, I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use my uh, Wisdom of the Sages. To try and hear what's going on? Um, and, uh, yeah, I want to listen to what they're saying. All right, cool. Um, so that'll be obstacle. Yeah. Bar removed from known language. Yeah, that'll be it. That'll actually be obstacle two. And what skill? Uh, Arcanist, because you're you're casting a spell. Yay! That makes me happy. <laughs> That's why I tell you to shut up because I'm trying to listen. I got my ear to the to the wall. Right on. Oh, that, that was out of character. <laughs> what? Oh, that was out of character? Oh. <laughs> My character doesn't just shut up because he's angry. In the general. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I'm angry too, this. so I know you shut up. <laughs> no, you. Oh, God, no. Alright, here we go. Uh, what did you open again? Two, I think. Obstacle is two. God damn it. Alright, um. What's your, what's your arcanist? Uh, my chance is four, which means I got an ob three. And none of your wife or your wife can't help you, obviously. Can't help me. No. All right, you know I'm gonna do it. Or cobalt design. And cracks don't. Boom! Oh, there's one. Okay, a, a dice fell on the floor. Oh. I got. Uh, well, I've only got one success, so it doesn't matter. You only have one success. Yeah, because the other one fell on the floor, and even if I did roll a success, I would have still failed. Yeah, let's see. It would have been a success, but I'm exhausted, so it's an ob 3, right? It is an ob 3. Uh, also, that said, bonus, um, I get to choose what happens, right? I can either introduce a twist, or I can give you a condition and give you some success here, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could do that, I suppose. Guess who's afraid again? You want to know why? <sighs> why? Why are you afraid? You can understand Cobalt now. Do you know why you're afraid? Because, because they're, they're, hearing. they're talking about what they're going to do to him? Pretty much, yeah. Um, actually, what you, like, as you're watching and listening, one of, the, uh, one of the, the muscular females brings out a leather thong swat, swatch thing and starts just beating the, the naked Cobalt. And one of the elderly males has a half-gnawed human foot in his hand and just starts shoving it in the in the naked kobold's face. And then, and then, while you're listening, you see the human that it's that it's been taken from. Uh, like the the man is bound and is like the stump of his leg is just wrapped in bloody rags and he just he's crying, conspicuous completely ignored by the rest of them. What are they bickering about? <clears throat> what you hear what you overhear is <coughs> I assume you, uh, you like, as your one candle goes out, you light the next one on it. Um, yeah. Unless, is this, is this, are they fairly well lit, or how does it there? It's, it's dim light. Dim light. <coughs> and uh, I would need, I would need our, like, my candlelight to be able to continue watching the, the scene. Or? No, you'll be able to see it. Okay, yeah. I'll just, I'll, I'll let it go out. I'll let it go out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, it's not going out yet. Just want to know. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Cool. So uh, anyway, yeah. The, the what you I might even is, put it out actually. But. Uh, the the elderly cold is is yeah like screaming at the screaming at the the, the the naked one. You're not supposed to eat them yet. We're going to cook them. 
You, you like this, don't you? You like raw human meat. Rubs it on his face. Yeah, you like that. Taste it. Taste it more, you piece of shit. <laughs> while the other, while the female is beating him with, uh, with that knob of leather. This is clearly a sex dungeon, so I'm going to roll for dungeoneering. <laughs> um, yep, yeah, and actually, you can. Uh, another thing you can hear is actually one of the uh, one of the, the the young female kobolds is actually sneaking up to the man and sniffing at his stump and saying, "Oh, it smells really." I, uh, no, I don't want to get beaten next. And then she just kind of backs off, and that's why you're afraid. That is why you're afraid. So what are you guys going to do? Do you tell him what uh, what's going on in the room? Oh yeah, I say uh, they're, 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 they're eating people. Um, I don't they're know. Animals. That's what they do. Yeah, but 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 but, but they're going to cook and they're stuffing meat. Look at that guy's our leg. Ah! <laughs> what are we going to do? I think we should leave. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe, 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 maybe we can, uh, maybe we can work something out with them. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is I mean, a, and just whisper to a reactionary tone as he can. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe I, maybe I, I can convince them that I, I can cook them, and somehow we get them free, and they can help us out. Wait, wait. You you speak kobold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right now, but 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 that's that's, that's gonna go away soon. So we got to make up a decision now. Oh, this is a magic thing. All right. Uh... I guess I don't know. Pops. <laughs> what what could you possibly say to an angry <laughs> set of kobolds force feeding a naked kobold tied to a chair, bits of human flesh? I tell him that I'll cook him up. I'll cook up the uh, the things and offer him uh, a good meal, like the one that wanted the one that uh, wanted the that didn't doesn't like the raw meat. And maybe they'll they either fight amongst themselves or I don't know, kill us, we... and us too. <laughs> yeah, that's another option. Are you trying to save this guy? Is that what you're trying to do? Well. Maybe you know these people don't look like they're having much fun down here, and yeah. I know what it's like to be. And he just stops for a moment. It's like, you know what? Fucking mind your own business. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> mind my own business, man. It, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to mind your business because you're gonna get yourself killed. And you're going to get yourself killed in a bad, bad way. So what, you just want to leave them there? That seems to me like the best option, yeah. Unless you got a genius plan, because I sure as hell don't, kid. Hmm. I don't like the fact that he's getting cut up and eaten by lizards any more than you do, but... So, um... <clears throat> can I maybe use um, my stone knowledge to look for any way that I can use some of the cavern itself to our advantage? I, I, was, al I was also thinking about uh, taking out my knife and making scraping noises and hopefully lure a couple over and sort of do a, <laughs> sort of like an ambush. Right, yeah. Sorry, say again? All together? Well, what I was thinking about was taking out my dagger, kind of like making scraping noises, and they'd be like, you know, try to get their attention. They could be like, "What's that?" and come over, and we can ambush a couple at a time. With uh, with trap wise, can I set a trap? With engineering, you can set a trap. Okay. And with trap wise, you can get an extra dice. Yeah, if maybe we if, can if you if you can use your wises though. Yeah, I don't think I, you're, I you're can angry. Try on myself, can't I? Or no, no, I can't. No, you're angry. Oh yeah. We're just bickering amongst, amongst each yeah. other. I'm too pissed off to come up with a plan. So. Yeah, I'm pissed off too. I'm pissed off and exhausted and afraid. Yeah. Well, I could I could use I could use my dungeoneering skill, which is quite high. <clears throat> um, I just won't be able to add any extra dice to it. Yeah, I won't be able to help you. So I could set. We could maybe combine the option and 
and maybe you can make the scratching noises and draw some of them out or make some kind of... Well, since you speak kobold, you could actually say something in kobold or, like, hey, check this out, or, you know, oh, whatever. Yeah. Oh, it's a good one. I could be like, help. Yeah. Help, we got... Uh, help, there, there's big ones out here. Intruders. Um, and then I could hopefully maybe set up a trap, like a bit of a cave-in on them as they come through the... Uh... Yeah, though I, though I don't think I can, because I can't help you, though. No, right. but you can no, just... but, but I mean, I can do that. I mean, we can use your skill to draw them out. Sure. Which may not help in the, in the, in the dice, but it will help, certainly, in the in narration. Sure. That works for me. Sounds great. Plan? Okay. So you're setting up a small cave-in? Yeah. I'm basically walk the walk over and you get a clump on the head. Sure. Yeah. I also have like a hammer and um, like a mallet and nails if I can maybe chisel away at, uh, at a at a weak you know strata of the rock or something. Totally. Yeah, you know you know that kind of stuff even if you can't get bonus dice for it. <laughs> um, and it's good because I'm afraid. So even when I say. <laughs> Help! <laughs> it actually sounds like I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's convincing. Don't, don't worry, worry, man. I got this. I went I went to university for five years to be a dungeoneer. So <laughs> got my degree. Nice. All right. So that'll be uh, that'll be obstacle three. Okay. Which uh, which is not bad altogether. Not bad. All right. What do you want me to, want me to roll that then? Or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you got, what, four dice for that from Dungeon Year? Four dice, yeah. Yeah, not bad. So uh, what are you saying to these kobolds? <laughs> I'm saying, help, help. No, oh, no, what I'm going to say is, I'm going to say, some lovely flesh out here. <laughs> some lovely flesh out here. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling. Yay, three. Oh, but I'm exhausted, right? I can't feel it. Oh, you can't that, okay. Yeah. Nice. That's a hooray. You were able to set up the trap, no problem. And, uh, yeah. Help! Yeah, they're over here! And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> three of them you see head off actually in the opposite direction, and then three of them, uh, all females, come down uh, come down your direction. And, and then just as they're walking into the right spot, <laughs> boom! Crack! Crunch. Yeah, take him out. Easy. Huge lump of limestone. Yay! <laughs> and that's when the rest of them start to scrabble. And you've got enough time to decide exactly how you want to tackle the situation because we're gonna, we're gonna drive them off. Four of them are now running your direction. Yeah, we're gonna drive them off. I don't want to do another kill conflict. You want to drive them off, not kill them? Mm. Shock and awe. Shock and awe. Yeah, I want to drive them out. It's up to you, though. What do you want to do? Or we could try and free the people and flee. Well, There's only well, one person there. Well, we could try and free that, free that person and flee. He might know where the rest are, so... Um, how many kobolds are left? Uh, there are four coming at you. Okay. And there are more in the room? Uh, well, the rest of them have headed off the other direction. Oh, okay, okay. I certainly rather drive them off than kill, though. At this point. Yeah, sure. Because my guy is scared of him and shit now, and well, he doesn't really trust himself now to beat beat him anymore. So I'd rather try to scare the crap out of him. Um, leaving if if Cobalt see us, leaving them alive is going to be a bad idea. So you can capture them. So we can either capture them, we can hide, or, um, yeah, I don't know. If they see us, we have to deal with them. Sure. Or else they're going to call for more. That's what No doing. problem. I can work on fighter or hunter. Actually, I don't think I can. I can use all, use all my nature. Would <laughs> um, <laughs> you rather capture them? Is there, like a, is there a capturing yep. one? Yep, there's a capturing one. Let's do it. Let's try it. Try and capture so them. Who's the leader of this, uh... Well, you know what? You came up with the capture option? I guess that's you. Sure. Cool. So, what, uh, what's your skill that you got to roll to uh, add to capture? That's Will. Fighter or Hunter? Or it's will. Plus will. Plus will. Yeah. And enjoy that. 
uh, three plus will. Uh, yeah, you just roll the dice and then add them oh, to right, total, right, right. total yeah. successes to your roll. That said, you're, uh, you're also at plus one obstacle because you're exhausted. So minus one right. success. Yep. Hooray! Damn exhaustion. Right. The silent killer. <laughs> uh, that's a zero success. Zero successes. So, so you've got three. Three. Yes. So who's getting the extra one? Yeah. Did, you take, did you take time to light a candle before uh, the conflict? Are you holding a candle or are you just charging in? Um, he, I think he would have tried to set up. But yeah, a bit of a. Yeah, I think he would have carefully sort of set up how, how this was going to go. Yeah. So I think a candle lit would make more sense. Yeah. Sure. Cool. Okay. Who's got the extra disposition? Me or you? Uh, he'll give it to yourself. Would be a good idea. Do you look pretty shaky? Yeah, and I'm also not skilled at all in this. So then he'll probably want to give you the. Uh, <laughs> the oh, extra. I was hoping for you to give it to yourself. Okay, let's do it. If, if well, I can I can keep it. Like it's all good. I guess oh, I, it depends uh, on if if I think I need to take a lot of hits for you, which I might. But. Cool, that works for me. And they have three, one each. So, as you uh, as you start trying to rush them and just tackle them to the ground and take them without killing them, um, yeah, we we jaw on conflict. Um, I'm just going to schedule their actions and then uh, and then you can go ahead and do your thing. We are in trouble. <laughs> That is for sure. Someone wanted to save a stump-legged man. Yeah. And the, what? Seeing you, uh, seeing you charging for them, they actually whip out slings. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> nice, nice knowing you. They want to keep, they want, they want to keep you back. <laughs> oh. That was probably the worst conflict for me. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> Yeah, but it was the most interesting conflict. It, yeah, totally, it is. So, uh, how are you going to schedule your actions? Are you going to take the lead on this one? Yeah, I think you uh, should take the lead on this one. You you having two actions is probably better than me having my two fuck-ups right now. Right, okay. I won't be doing nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, do, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe open up with a maneuver? Fighter, hunter, hunter, fighter. <laughs> you open with a maneuver, which uses fighter. Yeah. So yeah, I'll open with a maneuver. Um, what are you gonna do? I'm going to go off and do an attack. All right. And then I think I will round off with an attack as well. Ma. You know how many times we've done ma so far? <laughs> a lot of ma's. A lot of ma's. <laughs> All right. We could mix it up. If maybe we should. Uh, maybe we should faint. We can be mad. Be mad. We can be. Uh, we can be maneuver attack to vend. <laughs> but no, I think we'll stick with Ma. Yeah, Ma. Ma seems to be. Ma, Ma's pretty good. You know, Ma's we've been. Good. We had pretty good times with Ma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ma. Always there for us. <laughs> Always there. Cool. So. Um, only three of them can contribute meaningfully to this conflict because of the kind of disposition they end up with. But, uh, yeah. Go nuts. Okay. Uh, first up, you're, uh, you're maneuvering. They are maneuvering as well. <gasps> I know, right? Everybody's doing a little circle around each other trying to get in a better position. But, but uh, their, their, uh, their slings help them get into a decent position with, with plus two dice. <coughs> Unfortunate, though, that may be. Do they have a uh, what's, what's their might? Can I chuck uh, my hat, one of my hatchets? Can I get a person? That's yeah, only on a fight, or, a, or that's that's only if it's a viable weapon. And oh, it is in this actually, but uh, that's only attack and attack. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. That was okay. All right. So it's independent. I thought it was maneuver and maneuver. Yeah. Let me see if it's if it's in any. Maneuver, maneuver is independent. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the dice uh, for a hand axe or whatever it is? Yep. Uh, uh, it's, 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 it says, yeah, I think it's... Oh, it's in... Yeah. 
It's only for attack, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, fair enough. Roll them bones. Yeah. Roll them bones and track successes independently. Uh, one success, and that's what exhausted some other. It's, uh, it's nothing, yeah. None. I'm too tired to capture you guys. You what have they got? Position, certainly, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And meanwhile, they actually managed to surround you good, and two on a maneuver is imp- is, is impeded. You get, in position. You get. They get plus two dice on their next action. Uh. Because they, they, like, flinging stones at you, they're, ah, yeah, they keep you back, and they manage to clear some space for them to bolt off, actually. But, I mean, I don't, the, the, it, we'll see what they end up doing by the end, but <coughs> they might be, I think they're trying to capture you as well, incidentally. Oh, no. I know, right? They want more grub. Capture? Yeah. No, they just might, uh, if GM wins, uh, the creatures escape or you're driven off. So, yeah, they're they're trying to send you flying back. Okay. So, um, yeah, they get plus two dice on their next action. Right. So, what's your guys' next action? Attack, fellas? He's attacking. Yeah. You are attacking. I am burning nature. They're act like now, like now that they've gotten clean position to just fire away at you, they are just plain trying to drive you back. Screaming okay. kobold obscenities that you can just barely make out. And I'm, make some of the more. I'm trying to, like, lunge at them with my dagger in all fairness of, of like, you're not going to eat me! <laughs> Isn't that a Twisted Sister song? You're not going to eat me. No, you're not going to eat me. All right, roll your bo- roll your dice. Yeah. Uh, attack and attack are all independent here. Yeah, that's uh, I guess that's a four, which uh, exhausted means zero successes. Zero successes, negative mm-hmm. three, which means they just pelt you with stones until the two of you run off. Yep, we are gone. <laughs> and then they honestly just start laughing, laughing as you get <laughs> run off. Well, we killed your women. <laughs> as far as I know, it was just a. You can't question. reproduce anymore. That's we win. Yeah. <laughs> You'll go extinct. Oh God. Dwarves are all kobold girl. <laughs> Shit. All right, we run like. Oh God, no! Ah. So yeah, you guys, you guys get driven back like completely, and uh, like you know that you cannot go that direction without taking more sling bullets, and that's not an option. No. Let's get out of here. As I said. <laughs> Shut up. I just want to get out of here now. Oh, God. They have so many rocks. So many rocks. <laughs> the very cave. An endless display of rocks. <laughs> now, which one of you was mapping? Probably you, right? Uh, Yeah, but I haven't been saying I'm mapping. I... I've been assuming you were mapping. Or keeping at least a mental log of things. Yeah, I'm more of like a mental log. So let's see how well you've been doing that. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Never mind, you can't do it. Don't don't bother. I'm just too angry. Unless you want to take the unless you want to take the failed result. Um uh, what what's the up? Um, basically one per room, and you've got four rooms, and like you said, you were take, keeping a mental log, so that's obstacle five, six, because you're exhausted. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to be like, I'm lost. I think um, we went this way. Do you want to make the test? Uh, I'll just auto-fail. Do you want to just, just say screw it and find your way back on your own? I'll auto-fail. You'll auto-fail? Yeah. Cool. What conditions don't you have again? <laughs> I don't have injured, I don't have hungry and thirsty, have, and I don't have sick or dead. I don't have fresh, everything else is, uh, no. Hungry and thirsty, Yo, you afraid, up. injured, sick, and dead. <clears throat> you know what, buddy, uh, uh, never let it be said I'm not nice. <laughs> Ever let it be said I'm not nice. So we find a way out and I get hungry? You, uh, you know, quickly scrolling down in the candlelight, what you think is roughly what the map looks like, and you think you got it about right, you're hungry by the time you're done. Woohoo! That's actually very good. 
I'm actually never nothing let it be said I'm not nice. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. You know what that means? That means you can navigate back to the stairs no problem without a roll. I know. That's a, Well, I fail my roll, so... Am I hungry as well? Uh, you didn't help, so you're not hungry. No. You left it all up to the kid. <laughs> so, you make your way back to the uh, back to the collapsed stairs. I'm relying on your youthful exuberance. With no problem. What about the my rations? Is, am I, can, can I burn those? You can eat some of your rations. I will. They're preserved rations? They are. Cool. You start gnawing on some hardtack, and it sates your hunger. Mmm, hardtack. <laughs> Ah, uh, this stuff breaks my teeth. You rub it on your wet clothes to soften it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it only makes me more angry. <laughs> it fuels my hate. Hard tack. <laughs> I hate hard tack. Welcome to adventuring, kid. Welcome. To How come I can't have some meat like you have? That's it. That, that fresh steak in your backpack. I see it here. <laughs> and you know what? If you want, getting up out of here is no problem at all either because of your, your prodigious mapping skills. <laughs> Haul up and do you head back to town? Yeah, we're getting back to town. We we wires horribly. We're going to have to cook up your friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh what about those rats? Yeah, the rats have scurried around. Um that said, you don't have to go back to town. You can scout around the back here if you want. You didn't actually explore this area. This was a tavern, so there might there might be shit left. This, you're now actually in the tavern cellar. <clears throat> yeah, I, I want to loot this. Yeah? Mm. All right. In the cellar. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, this you know... Uh, like, I, like I said, if I'm getting out of here, I want some damn wine. Yeah, as you get back to, uh, to you know, the r- approximate beginning of your map, you enter the cold room. Um... Where, you know, I mean, it, it, it's obvious that it was the cold room anyway, because there's hooks from the ceiling, there's, you know, the remnants of a salted ham that have been gnawed to the bone lying near the door. I'll take it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it mostly just smells like urine and musk here. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else is here? Um, oh, yeah, and... Uh, you guys want to search around? You guys want to just uh, yeah, look fucking wanna, look at this place. Or what's up? Let's do some looting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Loot this shit. Loot this shit. We'll loot this shitty cellar. <laughs> <laughs> shitty cellar. <laughs> I um, hate you, Aaron. Booze. <laughs> of dead kobolds. <laughs> Man, we got some dead kobolds. We can uh, cook them up for food. Yeah, for sure. They've been eating us. Yeah, so we eat them, you know. Turnabout is fair play. <laughs> this does feel kind of uh, like D and D-ish, actually. It does. I was I was hoping it would. I was hoping it would. Yeah. Like, as soon as you say kobold, you can't you can't like not get roped <laughs> up into the uh, into the old mystique. Yeah, well, well, it does, but it, it comes. It, you do kind of feel the pain of the the shit too, right? Yeah, it's like definitely conditions. definitely grittier than D and D tends. Yeah, so. yeah, but it's fun though. It's cool. Yeah. I like it. Um. Yeah. Actually, you guys, uh, you guys find a, a ream of garlic, like a whole bunch. I want it. <laughs> mine, mine, mine. That mm-hmm. garlic's mine. I use that for shit. Can uh, either you cook? Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to assume Dungeoneering is a catch-all, so I'm going to say, yeah, I can use my Dungeoneering skill for that. Make uh, make a dungeon stew with kobold, garlic. Set up a garlic-related trap. Yeah. Um, I think that's a great idea. Let's do it. <laughs> Actually, yeah. let's do that shit. Let's lure him out. <laughs> yeah. with, with, with cooked kobold. Why the hell not? I think it's brilliant. Like, just have a kobold in like the stew, and like have like have it blatantly like, smell really good. So when they get closer, we can ambush them. It worked. Our trap worked once before. Yeah, yeah. Something, something. I smell the wind. Smells really good, and <laughs> and smells like some pheromones that I recognize. Where's where's <laughs> Timmy? Old Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> Old kobold Timmy. 
Do you really want to draw more kobolds out here and make them drive you off more? Or maim you? <laughs> I don't know. They'll probably sling rats at us or something. I don't know. Our trap work. My character has some confidence in the trap we did before, but it worked out pretty well. You know, we didn't die. Hmm. The poor bastard we left is probably dead, but <laughs> oh well. Well, I don't know. Uh, we could just get go onto the town and leave the uh, and leave the person to their fate. Though my, I my like one of my beliefs is basically. Like, freedom is not just for the rich, right? So, I don't know if he's rich or not. I assume he is because he has a cellar and a place to live. So, I assume anybody who has a, a house is considered rich in comparison <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a fair assessment. Freedom isn't for the rich. He's captured. He deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, that's all I can think about. Otherwise, I mean, I would... I, I found it what happened, so... Um, yeah. Yeah. I think this guy likes his food, so I think I did our thing on my list. Uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. yeah, okay, sounds great. We'll, we'll alert the, the appropriate authorities that uh, some kobolds have burrowed up into the, uh, into the cellar, and uh, they'll send some men down there, maybe. Hopefully some people are able to be saved. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you know what? Yeah, you, uh, you haul yourselves out of there and uh, head towards Tampa. You know, life sucks, you know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, life, especially for them. <laughs> this is this is the way life is. You're sitting pretty, proprietor of a tavern, and suddenly kobolds are eating you. You know, that's that's just the way it goes. That's that is life in Torchbearer. That is life. Did you guys gain any new checks since uh, since the last camp phase? Um, new yeah. checks. Sorry, oh, oh. Yeah. Yes, I have. You, you gained a new check. What do you mean my new check? You mean new skill? No, no, no. Like. Checks from traits. Oh, checks from traits. Um, no, I did not take. Oh, you know. You you can still go back to town. You just can't try to recover from stuff on your way back. Okay, no, I I only I don't have any checks. Neither do you. All right, cool. Don't worry. You can do things in town that will give you opportunities to recover. It's not cheap. <sighs> well, we've got cobalt gold to spend. So. How I've got, you? I've got no. I actually, I've got cobalt gold to spend. You're right. I. I. <laughs> yeah, yeah, qualifier there. Yeah. <laughs> I've been holding it in my hand the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Little Timmy's coin purse. <laughs> it's mine now. Sorry, just be a sec here while I uh, get to the right safe haven and other poor assumptions section. <laughs> Another board so yeah. No. As you uh, as you're entering town, the lovely mm -hmm. town of, uh, of of Fallcrest. Yes. <clears throat> you uh, you spend your remaining checks. Done. Um. Uh, oh. Our yeah. Favorite. What's uh, then? I guess find out what the guild is on the watch. Because guilds, uh, the guilds in town get to take turns being the town watch, which is hilarious. That's pretty good, though. The Dwarf Guild, who takes care of all wayward dwarves, sick and injured or angry, as the case may be. You can hope. Yeah. Uh, a pouch of gold is worth two dice of treasure. Yeah, I got that down. Two D of gold. Yeah, cool. Okay. Jesus Christ. Here we go. The Weavers are on watch. Yay! Hooray, Weavers! Go, Weavers! The Weavers Guild is on watch. Which, incidentally, means that you can't take advantage of the Weavers Guild right now. Boo. Do, do your clothing need repair? I think I'm good. Yeah. And, what kind of events are undertaking this town right now? Lucky. It is a peaceful town. <laughs> Volcanic explosion! Uh, disaster. Minor inconvenience, peaceful town, minor break, lucky break. You don't want a disaster. Lucky breaks are awesome. Yay! We'll take one. Uh, but you don't have a lucky break. You have a piece, just a simple peaceful town. A so, simple... I, I would consider that a lucky break. I don't know. <laughs> con considering the horrible things, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I'll take that. People's legs aren't being eaten. That's pretty good. <laughs> 
Hey, uh, as it starts, you know. Neither of you have any fresh rations. Uh, nope. Cool. None of them. None of your rations go stale. I don't. Even, I think I ate my rations though. So. Do you eat all of your rations? Uh, rations are worth three uses. Oh, then no, I still got two. I didn't um, realize. If you spent the requisite number of fate and persona points, you may level up, which you didn't have any, and you still don't. So, shucks. <laughs> yeah. Um, now you get to strategize. Divide up your loot as you uh, as you care to. You have, I think, total five dice between the two of you. Uh, five gold dice. Well, you've got your pouch of two uh, two gold worth, and he's got his nothing, and then you've got shared of. To uh, another a spare pouch that you can either give him or yeah. to yourself, and you yeah. can vote it as you will. Yeah, well, I've got two from for myself, like that I brought into this. Yeah. Right. Uh, two, two. Yeah. What? Yeah, including my necklace, that's right, and two that we just picked up. Yeah. All right, you know, um, I feel like I, I should give him the gold that we picked up, because technically I, I just held on to it for him. And because you got you got the garlic. And I got the garlic. <laughs> We're down for that. Yeah, cool. Cool. And one other, uh, and then this part of strategizing. I'm wearing the garlic. Um, ooh, where am I gonna wear that to? I have no idea. It's in my hands. Sure, just carry it. Garlic. garlic. And do you plan on haggling in town? Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, I'm haggling over prices in town. Fuck. A failed roll is not a bad roll. A failed roll is just an interesting roll in this case. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's see what the the dwarf's going to do first. I'll follow him around and see what he does and how he lives. Are you going to be haggling? I'll be haggling. We're dirt poor. Yeah, <laughs> we're haggling. We're haggling. All right. So each of you roll a haggling test at um, obstacle two, incidentally. Okay. We can't help each other, right? Uh, no, because, well, you can't because you're afraid. He can right. help you, if he wants, if he's got haggle. I don't. Then he can't help you. All right, cool. Beginner's luck. Cool. Well, eh. Uh, half cool. Okay. Round up. Yep. You guys. For you and, like, three days for you? Three days for me, but uh, I have to have all successes because I'm exhausted. Oh, yeah, right. What's, and what, what's you, the you can't succeed. I can't see However, you can limit your possible penalties. So the, the, the obstacle will be three. Okay. What do you get? Uh, I got one success. So yeah. Fail. Fail by two. How about yourself? Roll them bones. Yeah. <clears throat> How much you fail by matters in this case. One success. Cool. So you're both two successes short. Awesome. <laughs> you're bad at haggling. Well, both of you roll three dice, total up your individual results, like to, like actually just count the pips. So anywhere between three and eighteen. Right. And then subtract two in both of your cases. So roll three dice. Like you're generating D and D stats. That's All right. Uh, we are at uh, two, four, five. Whatever that means. Uh, you uh, subtract two from your roll because uh, because of your. Then three it stats. is. Three. You've got a three, and you've got... Nine. Nine minus... No, that's including minus two? Yeah. Cool, so three for you and nine for you. You each get your own results. Yeah, I don't even know what this means. What this means is that you cannot... Yeah, you cannot cash in your jewelry on this visit because the goldsmiths remember you as a cheat. That <laughs> makes sense. That explains a lot. Yeah. I'm down on that, yeah. <laughs> uh, luckily, you can still use your coin. You just can't cash in your brace or your necklace. That's fine. You, um, you are a decent bargainer, actually. Hooray! You drive a hard bargain. When you buy stuff at the market, you get to take an extra item for the same price. Right buy on. Buy one, get one free. Right on. I don't know if you have much space, but, you know. I don't. <laughs> you know, so you probably won't be buying much of anything at all, but, you know, hey, yeah. you could. You could. Also, both of you, on the other side of your sheet here, under the town section... Mark, it's right here. There's a lifestyle section. Put one check mark in there. Holy crap, we got a lifestyle? You do. <clears throat> Haggling makes your life, in the end, a bit cheaper, maybe. In your case, it, it would if you were buying equipment. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, it also makes your life more expensive. 
Um, I don't see the lifestyle thing you're talking about. Uh, oh, here it is. I found it. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. So, yes. This, the total number of checks will be your obstacle when leaving town when the debt collectors come for you. <laughs> yeah. So, you know what? Go big or go home. Might as well. Might as well. Can I uh, use my haggling um, bonus here to, like, buy, like, myself a nice, lovely meal and, and him a free meal? Uh, you could just buy, like, a set of rations and yeah. replenish both of your rations as well as junk. But like a nice restaurant. <laughs> no, unfortunately, it's only for gear. Um, that said, we've got locations. We have a cool map here and everything. This is, this is Fall Crest. You both have this map, from what I understand. Yeah. Here's the places you can go. So first up, where are you guys each going to crash, respectively? You can crash on the street. <laughs> it doesn't increase your lifestyle cost. It's also bad for you. Right. Um, you can crash in the stables or the flop house, and they both cost about the same. The flop house gives you two recovery rolls. The stables gives you one. The stables also means you probably won't be found by the cops if you commit crimes. Right. Luckily, you, neither of you are wanted here. So you don't need to sleep in the stables, and unless you really want to, you don't need to sleep on the street. Right. You could also sleep at the inn. And that's, uh, I mean, that incre that's increases your lifestyle cost about as much as the flop house. But you can make um, up to three recovery rolls instead of up to two. Or you could stay at the hotel. And and that increases your lifestyle cost by three. But you can recover from a lot of conditions. It's a really nice time there. There are lots of other things you can do in town. You can go to the market and buy gear. You can do that fairly well, at least. Um, you can go to the tavern and hear, look, listen to rumors for future adventures. You can you can drink and recover from hungry and thirsty, which I think neither of you are hungry and thirsty right now. Yeah. Um, or you can hire help for your next adventure. Um, they do require payment up front. Right. <laughs> um, you can also go to the guild hall and either use the facilities to create cool things for yourself, or you can hire apprentices. Or you can even find, get them to get you jobs. You can also take care of personal business. You can dig for leads. You can do research or other kinds of activity. But, yeah, there's a number of cool things you can do. What would you like to do? How big would you, you, do you want to hit the hotel, or should we just take I, a... I'm hitting the tavern and getting a drink. Uh, no, not drink, sorry. I'm hitting the tavern, and uh, I want to hear a rumor. Um, do you want to recover from any ailments? We should probably, like, uh, try to heal up our, our ailments first. Um, I would uh, like to have the conditions gone. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, well, let's, let, let's hit up the rumors first. Um, sure. Yeah, I, like I sort of want to hear the rumors actually. That's true. You're gonna you're gonna go get some rumors. Yep. Good album. Um, Good album. So, increase your personal lifestyle by one, Jason. Yep. Because you know, paying the bard some coins that that you know makes your life interesting when the debt collectors come and call. <laughs> yeah. You can live in a grand lifestyle. Yeah. Giving people money for rumors. Giving people money for rumors. So, you hear a rumor about a key figure in the town. Actually. Specifically, um, you hear about uh, a, uh, a new priest who's been assigned to the temple in town. Oh, that's right. You can also go to the temple. And uh, you hear that uh, that uh, you know he's that there's a new priest at the temple, and, but you hear that he's he's engaged in some serious dark dealings. He he uh, he heads out to the uh, to the to the old abandoned mortuary outside of town, and people say they've seen corpses moving around. So uh, that's kind of been linked to him. Sounds legit. Sounds. They got a nap after this story. <laughs> Nightmares, for sure. Well, that's right. In order to hire help, you have to be at least level two. You can't hire help. Yeah, sure. Couldn't even if you wanted to. <laughs> Somebody please help me. I think after that, uh, I'm going to have to snuggle to an inn for the night. Uh, are you going to hit an inn as well? We'll do the inn. Cool. Increase your lifestyle by one. 
Oh, no, sorry. Increase your lifestyle by two. Right, yeah. Two, so two. Plot has this one, right? No, no, wait. Yes, two, 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 yeah. two, two, two. Two? Uh, while yeah. at the end, you may recover from any type of condition. You get two free recovery tests. Yay! You also get free recovery from hungry and thirsty if you are hungry and thirsty. Um, so, make whatever two recovery tests you want. But for angry, afraid, and exhausted, you get plus one die because you've got a really nice head. Right. And they're actually letting you sleep in it, the fools. <laughs> So you have to burn it after I'm done. Um, <laughs> cool. That's so awesome. Take a third test for recovery if you need it. By, uh... Oh! By the way, I made a mistake. Exhausted doesn't count towards recovery rolls. That's true, it doesn't. That's right. Oh, okay. Um, do you, either of you have three conditions? I have two. I do. You have three? You can increase your lifestyle cost by another one to make three recovery rolls. No thanks. No thanks. <laughs> 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 well, so, um, roll to recover from your respective first two conditions. Yep, which are both will for me, so I'm so, looking pretty good for that. Uh, no, exhausted is helpful. So, angry first. That's angry. angry yeah. first, right. That's all right. You get uh, plus one die, though, so you've got four. Oh. I have six. Well. Right, oh, I thought that was half, and then... Oh, no, 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 no not, not for... That, that's only for getting plus one, not for... Right. Oh, God. I rolled six dice, I have one... Pass. I failed it. You failed at recovering from angry in a nice hotel. Yep. You fuck. <laughs> I, I will not give it up. Luckily, you've got a second recovery roll. You can try again. Yeah, well, I've got no choice, really. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Okay, that one's a success. You're no longer angry. Calm down. It's like, stupid, stupid kobolds punching a pillow, and after a pillow punching, I'm no longer... Yeah, just have a good cry into it. Yeah, but I'm still afraid, though. <laughs> but I don't want to go back. No, I'm afraid. I have a nightmare. You want to increase your lifestyle to try again? No. Try on afraid? Uh, I'll be afraid next time. You will continue being afraid? Yeah, if I if I have any more lifestyle points, I think I'm going to uh, find out what the deck collectors do to people. <laughs> 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 How about you? You're going to have five. You got exhausted, right? Uh, five plus one because you're in an inn. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. The, oh, no. Not plus one success. Plus one roll. Right. That's good. I got it. So I had to make two rolls. Uh, um, I get three there, right? If they, if they mark it, uh, yeah. another lifestyle, you get another chance. Yeah, yeah, if you mark one more lifestyle, you get one more shot at it. I'll do it. Go for it! It's just like so so It's go like free money. <laughs> yeah, it's like free money. <laughs> Yay! They have, they're extending credit to you guys. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. It's a yeah. student loan. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Time to buy all the magic cards. <laughs> <laughs> cool. What's your lifestyle at right now? Four. Four. You can't even hope to succeed on that one. So, what more would you like to do? Anything else? Buy some more. What was that? I, I'm, I'm going to go find out what ha I want. I, want, I don't want no, nothing to do with this anymore. I want to find out about the undead thing, but that's uh, that's for another time, I think. That's another adventure. Yeah. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm not doing any more debt collecting. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. You want to get to the market? I don't know. Just thought I'd browse. Yeah. Seeing as how I've got a lot of uh, haggling clubs. You know, I, I think you can't do any more worse. Um, so I would just max out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're already in shit. There's no way you can pay for it already. Master gear. Um, you have to pay up front on this one. It doesn't increase your lifestyle cost to go to the market. Um, you can also sell any spare salvage or kit you want to. Um, if the object would be worth three resources or less, it is uh, obstacle free. It has absolutely no sale, uh, sale value because they don't want your rusty, stinky junk. Right. But if it's worth obstacle four resources test or more, it's worth cash. One die of cash specifically. So, what do you have as far as spare kits concerned? How's, how much does a shield worth on, uh, oh, yeah, that's on the Master true. Gear list? Yeah, One. No, they don't want that. No. They don't want your. They don't want your stupid crap. 
man. So how do you sell that? You can't. Can't. It needs to be something really good to sell it, like plate armor. Wait a second. Plate armor is worth cash. Finery is worth cash. Um, a mirror would have been worth cash. What about trade value? That would be a Hegel? With these tools, you can trade for cash. I like those, so. Yeah, you do like your thieves tools, yeah. Um, maybe maybe it won't buy anything. I guess I don't really You could buy a traveling spell book if you wanted. You <laughs> yeah. wouldn't have any spells in it if you buy I it. I got one of those! <laughs> it travels on its own? <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm good. I guess I'm good. I've, I've browsed. Sorry, sorry, you could sell his traveling spell book for cash. Oh, oh right, okay. Here, uh, he never uses this. <laughs> That kid doesn't put it to very good use. What is this, a storybook? Yeah. It's stupid. There's no name in many pictures anywhere. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what are these things? A storybook story. <laughs> <laughs> now there's, there's nothing I'm lusting for on the, uh, the list. Nope. So. Your browser on the market, too, no avail. Nothing really special. Um, Have some chats with a blacksmith. Totally. All right, so the deck collectors or what? <laughs> so, um, if you guys are done with town, yeah, we uh, we settle up. I mean, unless you have other business you want to do. If you want to, if you want to build items for your kit, you could do that. You could you could make yourself new armor. I guess that's true. Um, I mean, you need to hire facilities at the guild hall first. That right. Costs you some lifestyle, but I mean, right. you don't have to pay that yet. They're extending you credit. The pool. Is. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can you can hunt down. Friends or enemies, or you don't have any friends. Uh, <laughs> Nobody likes you. Well, what what does it cost to hunt down friends? Uh, it it does increase your lifestyle because uh, you know you gotta you gotta wine you, you know you gotta go out for dinner with your friends when you find them, right? Right. <laughs> what what does what, what does that do for you? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of, what kind of help can you get for your friends? Well, that depends. What kind of a friend are you looking for? It's, well, it's basically you're buying a circles test. Oh, I'm buying a circles test. Gotcha. So with the actual friend on the sheet of paper is just there for, like, you to, to kind of play with. Yep. Um, okay. Or you could even you could dig up leads. Okay. Other than rumors. Yeah, well, I got that already. I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna take my losses <laughs> and keep being afraid and exhausted. I don't sleep very well in the end. Or we could just say, you know what? No, yeah, let's pay our bills and get out of here. Let's pay our bills and hopefully not die. Yeah. <laughs> That's a full-time job. That is a full-time job. So, total your respective lifestyle costs. You each get to settle up on your own. You got, what, lifestyle five? Four. Four? Only four? I have, I have uh, lifestyle uh, four as well. All right, cool. You guys, hey, you know what? Not bad. You could have done worse. Yeah. Um, roll your each of you respectively roll your individually two dice versus obstacle four, or you can pool your cash, try and settle up one of your pair's debts, <laughs> and just tank the other one. No. Nope. I think I think we'll take whatever. Whatever's coming to us. Whatever's coming to us. Is is is, is, is does it matter if we fail or not? Kind of does. If you well, um, well, by by amount, I mean though, or is it by amount? No. Okay. Well, we'll see. I, I, I get results when you uh, when you fail the test. All right. Um, how about I'm going to use a wise... Oh, can I use a wise? Are yes, I can. Oh, I'm okay. not angry anymore. I'm no longer afraid. I, I have fall crest wise. You do actually have fall I, I've, I've dealt with these debt collectors before. If you get the money from him, you can have five dice against this and have a possibility of succeeding. Hey, hey. Of course, you have to yeah. part with the cash and just tank this. That's up to that's up to him, I guess. <laughs> Convince me. I can also say that I was very thoughtful <laughs> in saying I can't. Yeah, no, I can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Yes, I can. Yeah, I can say that. You know, uh, as I was, uh, I was already re knowing that the debt collectors were coming, so I pre-planned uh, my speech to them. Uh, to try and give me uh, a better heads up that, hey, you know what? I'll pay you a little bit more the next time I come back. And that's how your wise is applying for you? 
no, that no, my wises are applying by me knowing that. Um, oh, oh. By, by go by going to their office, like before I leave, so that they didn't have to look for me. That's right. And thoughtful is, is pre planning, like point. yeah, pre planning like basically knowing that. Uh, well, I need to come up with a good story so they can uh, so they'll cut me some slack this time. Okay. It's possible. <laughs> Unlikely. It's possible. We'll see. So I'll right now I'll have four dice on my own. Can I contribute to that? Or? You, I don't know. Do you have, uh, do you have anything that can assist on that? I still can't succeed because I'm exhausted. Have you used your? No, time? this is a resources roll, right? What did you use? Uh, uh, is, is this a resources roll? You can help right. with wises, or you can help with skill set. Hmm? Is this a resource roll? Yep. Okay, so then the exhaustion doesn't count. So that's good. But hang on, he's, he's seeing if he can help you out. Oh, cool. Um, hey, you know what? Uh, yeah, I can't help you out, but <laughs> sorry, because I'm scared. <laughs> can I uh, can I regale? Can I mention? You know, there was this ancient dwarven tale about uh, about moneylenders and blah 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 blah, and maybe like uh, tell some uh, some ancient dwarven chronicle of uh, of moneylenders who, in their generosity, found. Oh, heaped upon them. You can you can, you can talk about how the dwarves like, you know, the dwarves were a, a, we used to be a greedy bunch, and the, dwar- the you know the debt collectors did a horrible thing to them, and then they got what's coming to them in the end. <laughs> <laughs> that is functional. Uh-huh. Yeah, you get an extra die. You were at five dice. Five dice for four debt. Where the dwarven moneylenders' tale? It's a good one. Oh god, here we go! I'm not gonna get this, guys. <laughs> my luck once we're uh, once we're done this. Oh week. my god, one success! <laughs> I did everything I could do. Uh, <laughs> like everything I could that, do. Not one success was my amazing story, and then everything else was just. Uh no, it wasn't. <laughs> you had two. Uh, Sorry. And you failed. Yeah. <laughs> Because you helped me, yeah. Well, got to do what a dwarf's got to do. All right, so debt yeah. collectors, what do they do to us? I guess they take our gold. <laughs> uh, they do definitely do that, but... <laughs> oh, um, the, uh, the debt collectors send out some thugs to rough you up. You still have your cash right now. Oh, good. It hasn't been taxed away. I'm just going to be injured. They might take it, is the big thing. So yeah, no, uh, as, you're, as you're heading towards the gates, you see a bunch of thugs that you uh, you remember seeing while you were regaling the debt collectors. Yeah, so I'm like, hey guys, I'll pay you back soon. i got to get going now. And they block your way at the gates. Hey, what's this about? Hey, what's going on here, guys? I groan. <laughs> we're, we're just trying to get by, you know? Just two well-respected individuals. <clears throat> we, uh... We're here to collect. Collect what? We already, we already talked to him. Um... You know, uh, Herbert. He has. He has my. Um, he has. He, he knows me. One of them races over and grabs the necklace off your neck. Snap. Hey, mm-hmm. hey what are you about for your gold coins? And hey, what are you doing with that? And then one of them. Yeah, they take your pouches of gold if you don't stop them. Well, I'm stopping them. <laughs> And I'm saying, get your hands off that. We have already made arrangements. Are you trying to trick them? You're going to start a, a trick conflict. Yep. Yay, trick conflict. I've already paid them. Stand back and... I'll back stand. him up. I'll back him okay, up. Okay, all right. Awesome. Uh, but you're leading, so... Uh, what's he What's he leading with on trick? Uh, let's see. Uh, i got to find the trick stuff here. All right, tricking. Tricking is manipulator, which I have. Yay! Uh, and will. So I have uh, five okay. plus two dice. Roll your yeah. A manipulator's two dice for you. Yeah, but it's not plus one because I'm exhausted. Yep. So here we go. 
five stats. I need the five. Uh, I've got two fives, so that's a plus one, so we get six disposition. Cool. Three each. Nice. Cool. To trick the shit out of these people. I got thugs. Uh, what are the what are the skills that go with that? Manipulation and Lord. Uh, Manipulation and will. Uh, hopefully, they don't have a whole lot of anything there. Does Dwarven Chronicles count as lore, Master? No. Oh yeah, I forgot. You you wanted to help, right? If if I can, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can help with on the disposition roll. No. Oh, nothing. On, okay, disposition. Okay, you're just helping in general. Okay. I'm no, just. You're not, you're not yeah, liar. what he said. You're, you're not a liar. Yeah. Wow, I actually have both of these skills. We're in good shape on my end. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you on the other hand. I'll just hang back. I'm doing good. good. Are you, are you, you're not going to be involved? You're just going to let him take this all? If I, if I can't contribute, well, hey, I took a lot of the. You took my gold, so, you know. Or I took a lot of the. Well, uh, I'm hoping to get that back. I mean, I'm, tell, I'm telling them that we already paid, right? Yeah. So my idea is to get my shit back and get out of here. Oh, that's what that's my I intent. So did we set stakes in the in the uh, conflicts or what? Nope. The stakes are, are are determined explicitly by the type of conflict. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, I've got them set up. You can go ahead and schedule your actions. Alrighty. So it's just me. It's just you. God. He's just like. Yeah, I can't help. <laughs> All right. So I got six disposition. If, if, if there's a way I can help, I'll jump in. But uh, you can't now. Too really. late. Um, yeah. So you don't really have a grudge against these people, so your nature doesn't even apply. Uh, you could have a grudge against them if they beat you, and then you next next time you come back. All right. I'm hoping for this. All right. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what I got written down. Mmm, fa. So that's uh, the first one is um, maneuver. Then it's feint and attack. You got maneuver. Maneuver, feint, and attack. Uh, maneuver is versus their feint. Motherfucker. Yep. Uh, so that's um, a versus test. Versus test. So that's um. Lore Master, so that's three dice. All right. They end up having one die. All right. Because wow. they can't even help each other on this test. They're no this at all. Right. Uh, good. I'm very glad. <laughs> Oh, you want my results, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. they, they rolled a one. I got, I got three. I got three, three, um, true results, but I think exhausted, right? It's a bad thing. Yeah. So I got two plus two. Two. That puts you in a good position. The ones like, uh, I'll take plus two for my. I'll, I'll impede them by one. Uh, no, I won't. I'll get a plus two to my next action. Yeah. You 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 stumble upon a good name. That's uh, that's legit. Needs. I guess that sounds kind of like Harold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got tall, he's a tall guy with long hair. Maybe he means Harry. Maybe he doesn't mean Harry. Do you mean Harry? Of course. <laughs> so next up, they're attacking. You're fainting, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. It's a free attack for them. They get a free attack. And uh, <clears throat> you know what? He told us to take the money, and that's it. We're going to be taking money. Uh, they get one success on their attack. Okay. Which I am still plenty of good right now. My disposition is slightly shaken, but not my much. And then my next thing is an, uh, an attack. Versus so I say, I, I go, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. As you're, like, reaching for the shit. And, yeah, they're attacking as well. Look, we're taking your money, or we're going to rough you up. It's your choice, and you're saying... And I'm saying... I'm saying... But wait, if you rough me up, then then they're going to have to owe the hospital bills on top of what they already 
on, to, on top of the uh, money that the, we already gave them. <laughs> that's, how that's how it works. Cool, roll your attack. Yeah. Attack with, uh, uh, what, what was that attack skill again? Two, manipulator. Manipulator. Roll with the manipulator. Yeah. Um, can I use a wise as well? To say that uh, because I, I'm wise of this spot, I know what names to throw out? Yeah. So I'll be like, yeah, and the guys over at the guild, I don't know if you understand this, but they're spotting me. Because I'm using manipulator. There you go. They're sponsoring me. That's Roll what's up. going on. You're totally going to get past me. Sweet. Uh, that's a All right, one success. Well, two successes so that equals one. Yeah, one of those is like, you know, I'm, I'm, no. And he walk, One of them walks off entirely. They're really? In front of you, but. Oh, did, what, what did they do? Huh? Did they do oh, anything? They lost one disposition. Oh, they, they, they didn't. They didn't get any damage back to me. No. All right, one of them take off. Yeah. All right, because I just name dropped somebody important, so the guys like, I don't want to deal with that shit. There is visible shock on my face mm -hmm. as as I'm watching this unfold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's set up a new uh, set up a new three. Cool. <coughs> what do you got up? Um. I got uh, fuck my life or. Oh, FMA. That's that's that's, that's my life. That's uh, <laughs> that's FML. But anyways, all right. So we got the faint, manipulate, and attack. And your faint would be against their defense. Whoa! You could say fuck my aliveness. Yeah. <laughs> fuck my alignment. All right. Uh, you got one of those like, look, I'm sure if if you made some deal with Harry, you would have told us, and then you come up with something really brilliant that just yeah. So what I say is. Harry's my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> of course he's going to support me. So really nice. <laughs> Open against them. That's a that's manipulator. <laughs> so. Um. So can I, I can't can I still use wise for that? Yeah. Can I still use the wise for that? Because yeah. I'm still baking upon the the fact that I know that guy's name and shit, and I'm dro dropping names stuff. Yep. Okay. Eat this. Uh, two successes. Sorry, how many? Two, but it's one because of exhausted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Harry's your uncle? Okay. Yeah. Seven, <laughs> don't bother. Don't bother, man. It's we're gonna go sort this all out. Have yourself a great day. But they got yeah. a compromise because they took you down by one, didn't they? Uh, no. Uh, yes, they did. They took me down by one. So um, I got I have uh, five uh, out of six. Compromise, fuck you. Yeah. So minor compromise. I say here's a tip or something. I give him a coin. Okay. I give him I give him one of my dice if you want to do that or 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 they make off with my necklace. I don't know. How do you want to do this? No no no. Um, what conditions do you not have? Oh come on. All right, I don't have hungry <laughs> thirsty. How's that? Yeah. Oh, you bastard. I, have, I, I don't have angry. I'm not injured or sick, so there. Yeah, no, you're just made hungry. Whew. All this, all this arguing has parched your 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 throat here, so you're hungry. <laughs> Luckily, you can fill up your water skin on the way out and fix that off. Whew. Uncle Harry, huh? Yeah, it's a uh, long story. I say, uh, I obviously lying. <laughs> Is my lifestyle reset now? Your lifestyles are re respectively cleared. <laughs> yes, but you're it's... still hungry. But... I ba I basically just I basically just paid for us. You do all the fighting and shit, then I get out of the debt. See, so we're a good team. <laughs> well, you paid for yourselves. You pissed off the guilds. <laughs> Actually, I, I sort of tried to align myself with the guilds in a very, you know, manipulative way. <laughs> yeah, until they figure out your lies. Yeah, <laughs> well, hey, that's for another day. Right? <laughs> that's, that's a problem for future me to worry about. Yeah, if... Exactly. <laughs> you know, if this was uh, if this was like uh, monster uh, was it um, 
A monster hearts? No, it's an everyday thing, so. Whatever. Consequences? Who needs them? I knew there was a reason I stuck around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my uncle. <laughs> so you, uh, you guys were planning on heading to the uh, to the old necropolis. Yep. That's that's where all the cool cats are hanging out. Yeah, that's where that's where I hear there's money. <laughs> Seeing you heading that direction, um, one of the gatekeepers, at one of the weavers guild, um, warns you to watch out uh, for for bandits. They've been uh, they've been plaguing travelers around. Ah, uh, jeez. Um, Maybe we can rob them first. You know, two uh, two gentlemen came uh, came through these gates into town today, robbed bear. One of them, swear to God, he was wearing satchel. <laughs> that was the only thing keeping him looking decent. That oh yeah we uh, sorry yeah we do we do have end of session guys. Yeah, that's what I was kind of wondering because I was like shit like do we ever level? <laughs> uh, there's no leveling in this, but there is earning fate points. Oh, right. Well, what I mean is, yeah, because you got to spend the fate and persona points, right, the level? So, if you feel you accomplished your goal during this session, you earn a persona point. Right. So, find out what happens to the patrons. I found out what happened to the patrons. I tried and stopped them, and they still got eaten. I think that's a persona? Uh, do you feel you accomplished that goal, or did you just work toward accomplishing that goal? Uh, mm, find out what happened to the patrons. Uh, okay, you know, I don't know exactly what happened. Maybe they got free at the end, you know? So fate maybe... Yeah. Yeah. I didn't... yeah, I'll take a fate point for it. How about you, your goal? I will keep Cuthbert from harm. He never got injured. I think, yeah, I think I, I, think I watched over him uh, well enough. Woohoo! You got a persona point. Persona point. What do I uh, nice. Yeah. See, just log it there. Cool. Um, did you uh, did you act on your belief? Freedom I... is not just for the rich. Well, it was a, I, I tried to act upon it, but I couldn't succeed. It like I couldn't. Hmm. Freedom is not just for the rich. Well, I don't know. Action it... in the service of your character's belief. You earn a yeah, point. Yeah, I don't think that ever came up because. There was no indication. Well, I mean, he, uh... um, you did help charge, uh, try to charge for the uh, to free the captured man who was all tied up and crap. Yeah, I tried. I suppose that's a fake point. I did not. Uh, there is something I'm looking for in the dark. I think it was pretty resistant to to going down because I thought he was gonna die. So. <laughs> well, hey, you found a shield in the dark, right? Yeah, Maybe that's, that's what you were looking for. To benefit you here. <laughs> Do you benefit from an in, from your instinct? I didn't benefit, no. What was your instinct again? Always uh, set, uh, scrounge for food. You did not benefit from that instinct. No. In fact, if anything, it made me worse and angry. You gain a fate point. Oh! Are you getting a fate point? He is getting a fate point. Oh, I'm not, though. No. Mm -hmm. um, no. Did you play against your belief in a dramatic fashion? Absolutely you not. You in the game that's counter to what you believe. No. I, I did, yeah. Instead of uh, exploring the depths of darkness, which I would have usually done solo, uh, I had this, this, this dude to watch over, so I, uh, as much as I wanted to press on and, and find something about the darkness, uh, I didn't. I, I kept urging uh, to get out. You get a persona point. This guy's raking in rewards. Yeah, man, I got two fate points. <laughs> um, most valuable player. Um, if a most valuable player award is awarded, it goes to the player who made the most crucial role, so that they could face down the the party could face down a big problem besetting uh, the situation. I yeah. think I think the thugs were a problem, <laughs> but then again, you did the traps and the kobolds, but so I guess it's well, maybe there wasn't a, an MVP, so to speak. It has to be awarded, though, isn't it? does not have to be awarded. No? Okay. Um, that said, the player who worked the hardest to keep the group together and in good shape earns a persona point for being a good team worker. That might go to the man who settled up, who uh, kept you from losing all of your cash in debts. Indeed. 
So again, for Persona Point. Yay, Persona Point. And if you roleplay in a believable and entertaining manner throughout the session, uh, you earn a Persona Point. And the group decides who's worthy of this reward. It can, it can be awarded to more than one player, but it cannot be awarded to everyone. So, between the two of you, you, get, you can figure out which one of you played more convincingly. <laughs> Let's let the listeners decide. Vote <laughs> online. Like if it's me, share if it's him. <laughs> so, we'll check back next time to see which one of you earns the persona point. There uh, you go. Voter vote, uh, viewer vote. And, uh, uh, write in the comments below. Who deserves the points? Me? Obviously. But <laughs> <laughs> or him? I don't know. <laughs> All right. And that's that. All right. Well, well this has been right. awesome. Thanks, guys, for uh, coming on the show. And uh, I can't wait to try this again, uh, hopefully next week. And uh, if we get any more people, we'll roll them in. And, and then um, so uh, concerned for... For this, guy's, for this guy's safety, I know. I'll have to worry about a whole bunch of people. <laughs> All right, All right. guys. It's now 1 o'clock in the morning. I think I'm going to bed, so. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Thank you, thank you. This Adios. has been Rolling Intentions. Signing <laughs> off. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Peace.